Hey everyone, my name is Jerry, and I'm excited to take you through a tour of Llama Cloud, which we just opened up a waitlist for. So Llama Cloud is a managed platform that provides the data processing layer for your LLM applications. It provides the parsing, indexing, and retrieval services on top of unstructured document data, enabling you as the AI engineer to spend more time writing the business logic for your LLM application and less time on painful data wrangling. Llama Cloud comes with the following components. So first there's Llama Parse, which we already released in February. Um, and it's a standalone document parser that's really, really good at handling tables, figures, charts, and more. Since then, it's gotten a lot of adoption and has become a best-in-class parser for LLM and RAG workloads. Starting today, we're also including the rest of Llama Cloud, which lets you build an end-to-end -end data pipeline for your LLM application. This includes first-party data connectors, the common data sources like Microsoft SharePoint, S3, OneDrive, as well as custom data support and data syncs. Uh, this includes end-to-end -end indexing retrieval, where you can leverage advanced indexing and retrieval algorithms to get better performance than naive RAG, and also can scalably handle a lot of different documents at once. This also includes an easy to use a UI flow for setting up an index, uh, as well as deeper customizability through the API. And also includes other features like team features, letting you share indexes within an organization coming very soon. So let's kick it off by creating an example RAG pipeline. We'll use the UI to easily set up an index over some number of financial reports from both Apple and Tesla. And then after we've set up the index, we'll follow the rest of this notebook to define the orchestration logic. So here we go to our first Llama Cloud page, which shows you the set of indexes for a given project. You can define the set of projects over here and create new ones as you wish. And within a project, you can create as many indexes as you want within the given project. An index corresponds to a data pipeline linking some data source to a data sync that you can basically use via a retrieval endpoint. We'll create a new index and call it Apple Tesla Demo. And now let's take a look at the data connectors. We have a variety of options from file upload to S3 to SharePoint. And for simplicity, let's say the file upload option for now. We'll drag the 10 PDFs in here. And from here, you can specify the set of data syncs. Currently, we support uh, Quadrant, Pinecone, and Azure AI Search. And we're working with our partners to add a lot more uh, data sync capability support natively within Llama Cloud. Um, note that this fully managed version is meant for easy experimentation purposes, uh, is not meant to be a production vector database, but for simplicity, we'll use this. From here, you can select the embedding model. Um, we support embedding models like OpenAI, as well as the embedding services from all the major cloud providers. And from here, we'll enter our API key. Finally, there is the parsing settings where you see Llama parse is enabled by default. And besides that, we have a full page of expanded configuration options coming very soon. And in the meantime, you can configure chunk size and chunk overlap. So with that said, let's deploy the index. While this is building, we can actually go through uh, an existing uh, index that's already built with these documents. So taking a look at the completed index, we see an overview page where the main callout is a code snippet uh, using the LAM index open source library you can use to immediately perform retrieval and also build an end-to-end -end RAG pipeline. It's available in both Python and JavaScript. We also have a playground um, that enables you to view the set of retrieval parameters that we offer from fast to accurate to advanced, letting you trade off between retrieval quality and flexibility. We're also adding a lot more retrieval features on top of this, but in the meantime, you can, for instance, preview an existing feature. So you see both the source nodes, and then also uh, you can click view and file to view the source document as well. Now let's build a simple RAG application with Llama Cloud. So going back into the notebook, 
we will integrate or define the index uh, from the code snippet as Llama Cloud Index. We'll put in both the name as well as the project name. And it, in one line of code, you can actually just immediately get an end-to-end -end RAG pipeline with the relevant parameters. And so if you ask the question, you know, what are the risk factors for Tesla in 2022? You're able to get back the response and also view the sources. You can, of course, also take this query engine and then plug it into more advanced in, uh, retrieval and query modules that the Lamadex open source library provides you. So for instance, let's try to plug this query engine into the sub-question query engine in LAM index, which allows you to break down a complex question into sub-questions. So we'll define the imports, use the current LAM cloud query engine as a tool, and then feed it to the sub-question higher level query engine. This way, if you ask a question that's actually a comparison question, for instance, equity awards between Apple and Tesla, you're able to get back a response. The next example that I want to show you is actually uh, you can create documents not only through a UI based flow, but actually through the API as well. And so, for instance, we've created a custom doc index right now, which is completely blank. And so we'll programmatically insert documents into this index instead of through the UI. To show this, we basically do the following. Um, we first load in the documents through the Llama Parse standalone API. Um, so instead of using the, uh, you know, the native integration through Llama Cloud, this basically means that you can plug in any document that you want. And here we just load in a simple financial report from Apple. Make sure you note down the pipeline ID and also pipeline name, which are found uh, both within the project URL uh, ID as well as the pipeline ID uh, in the UI. Next, you just have to define a client um, through the Llama Cloud Client SDK. And then also there is a framework integration with the open source framework. To actually uh, insert a custom document, all you have to do is use the Llama index core document primitive, which enables you to define text as well as metadata. And so here, besides the financial report, we're also just going to uh, insert some, you know, test data. Jerry likes apples with metadata type equals test. And then all you have to do is call to cloud document and then call client.pipelines upsert batch pipeline documents. If we go back into the Llam Cloud index and click into custom doc index, we'll see there's actually been a job that's being created which indicates that you know, this pipeline is processing the new documents that you've inserted. There's also different ways of inserting documents. You can do it directly through the framework. You can directly upload the files via the client. And after you've uploaded some documents, you can list these and you can see that you know, there's two documents um, inserted. One is the full financial report. The second is Jerry Likes Apples. And then you can, um, uh, you know, similar to before, set, set up an end-to-end -end query pipeline over that. And so through here, we are just going to go build the end-to-end -end RAG pipeline and maybe ask a question over the report on the federal deferred tax in 2019 to 2021. And this gives you back an answer over the Apple document. So you can look at the sources as well. And you can see here the return documents are indeed um, the markdown format that Llama parse, parse the documents into. And lastly, we can also ask a question, you know, what does Jerry like? And you get back the answer, Jerry likes apples. So this is a very simple example, but hopefully this unlocks the door for a lot of different types of creative applications, whether it's question answering and RAG to more complex ag agentic workflows and you can basically trust that the data pipelines, the maintenance, the setup and iteration can be managed by Llama Cloud. So thanks and hope you enjoy this.